Hi everyone and welcome to Asami Rat Care. Um, so we're going to continue in my short videos on different methods of keeping your rats cool. Um, this video is going to look at something that doesn't involve the freezer after a request from one of my um, viewers whose freezer and fridge have broken at the moment, which you can understand for causing quite a bit of pain. Right, so what we're going to use for this is actually water. So one of the key things with rats to know about them is they don't sweat in the way that we do so that's one of the ways that we keep cool and I'll talk a little bit about the mechanisms of kind of heat loss and the science behind it should I get around to doing a video a longer video on it which I hope to but um, it will depend on how life pans out um, so what we're instead trying to do is use the method called evaporation um, and give the rats a some level of water to either cool down from kind of being in contact with something that's cooler than themselves or actually allow the kind of water to evaporate off them particularly off surfaces like their feet and their tails um, and the ears actually anything that's skin layer it means it's got a really kind of close contact with all the veins and how you lose heat so first way to do this that's really easy and simple and everybody should own is a water spray bottle now you may see these being used as introductions to break up fights but actually as long as it's a soft one and this is very soft and um, it's kind of just like a very kind of like misting effect um, then it's actually really good to help cool them down and the reason we're doing this in front of the cage is this is a great place to do it so the kind of thing that i'm after getting them to do now is to climb up and then i'm just going to lightly mist them now you can see there's a little bit of surprise in some cases but actually most of them are um, quite interested in this it's not distressing for them at all um, I'm giving them a light misting and the reason I'm doing it underneath is because it gets all the pores which is a great way to lose temperature and I can also usually get the tails this way um, I don't particularly want to get too much water on the heads in case it goes in their ears and that can cause problems in its own right um, so that's why underside is a great way to do it and we're not looking to get the rats drenched here um, my next <laughs> idea along this theme will do that anyway um, what we're looking at doing is just getting them slightly um, kind of damp and this is a great emergency measure too so um, if you get a rat that's starting to suffer from signs of heat stroke so typically they will become very lethargic, floppy, um, kind of limp um, often their ears and their tail will be very p much pinker than they would be normally we call it pinking up um, and um, that can be a sign that they're really overheating and they're in a bad way um, so Kind of giving them a quick spray over with some water or even sitting them in a kind of sh very shallow layer of water it's a really good way to cope with that so water spray brilliant to have on hand um, most rats actually learn to quite enjoy it um, mine have absolutely no problems with it do you girls yes and um, they'll let me kind of spray them without getting freaking out at all so um the next thing to do is um so what you can do out of the cage, and actually I've got a video on this in my kind of 12 days of enrichment feeding, is pea fishing, which is very simple, using a kind of bowl of water, and um, fairly shallow, and sprinkling peas in it. There's a lot of information on that, it's a really good thing to do um, free range. But actually what can be quite good is having water available in the cage. And this gives them the option, if they want to, they can go for a quick paddle in it, they can wash themselves in it. It's a new way, well, another way of drinking. That's partly why I have bowls in my cage. And I should um, state, um, don't underestimate the importance of drinking in this weather. Much like for humans, your rats will drink more than normal and should be encouraged to it. So giving them plenty of water and kind of um, water rich foods, which is partly why my two kind of frozen um, kind of bowl video and, and the little kind of ice cubes with food and it was to kind of encourage them to eat, eat water as well as kind of drink it more conventionally so by offering them what is a kind of big bowl and what I'm going to do with this, this is going to hang in the cage so um, I had to pick something that I could drill a few, a few holes in each corner and add um, shower curtain rings here so I've just used, um, I've got like a little mechanical drill um, you could use a power drill as well um, if you knew what you were doing and were careful you could use a heated up poker to put holes in each corner um, kitchen bowl is great for my size cage it isn't suitable for everything you can actually get some quite good like little baskets that you can hang up in cages that are smaller the idea is you want um, to have a little bit of depth you're not going to fill that full of water but that helps stop them spraying it everywhere and getting quite as much crap inside it which they do it stinks what the other important thing to think about when you're doing this is make sure it's in a way that you can get it in and out so i've just taken this out they've had it all today and yesterday and the water in it was brown <laughs> it was well digging box in the cage plus this even though this is higher up than the digging box it gets muddy and mucky because the rats move between the, the two um, another thing that i like to do so you can see in here there's lots of gravel 
Now gravel kind of acts in two ways. It's quite good at kind of holding cool temperature. If I was organised, I could freeze this gravel beforehand. Um, or what I could do is actually sprinkle in some ice cubes, ready, ready um, frozen ice cubes to this to cool it down as well. Um, but actually the rats also quite like picking up little bits of um, kind of gravel, carrying them around, that kind of thing. Um, some of them will stash them in the nests, which then gives them a nice cool place to sleep on. Um, so this works really well as a kind of um, kind of immediate kind of play thing, cooling down. And what you can do in the cage, sprinkle a bit of vegetables in it, because um, that kind of floats quite well. Peas, kale I've done in there before. In theory, you can even sprinkle a bit of dry mix, but what I find with that is it tends to expand and go kind of really mushy and icky, and then they just leave it and it kind of turns horrible. Um, but yes, so this, this works quite well. My other tip would be make sure when you're putting it in the cage um, that you either have it very barely filled or um, you kind of fill it when it's in there, which is what I'm going to do, particularly because I know as soon as I try and get this in there and the girls are all going to try and help um, because they're very helpful little animals. <laughs> um, so that's going to be fun games. So what I'll do is I'll move you over here a bit and then we can get it in the cage. So I've already got a spot in there for it. Um, cleared that all down. Put a few troubles. Yes, no, let's remove you off all the bars. Um, it's also free range time, can you tell? Come on, come on, just be careful. Let's all go on this side. So they're also going to escape, um, that's absolutely fine. Right, what have we got here? It doesn't smell funny anymore. Oh, be careful, movement. Oh, no. Um, yeah, this is why it's probably easier to do this without all the rats' assistance. Come on. Now I'm going to have to get this in. They're already in there <laughs> exploring. It's new smells, new textures, etc. Right. It's quite heavy when you've got the addition of like three rats in it. managed to lose one of my clips in the process but at the moment we're getting there. Good girls. Ah, there it is. So yeah this is quite simple attachment um, I do do it because it will get smelly um, so that it's easy to get out. So that's in there. I've got my container full of water and um, they're going to be a bit of a shock as I fill this up. Um, come on girls watch out. Water coming in. Well, the water isn't putting them off much though, Fu is now looking rather damp. Um, but yeah, they're straight in there, they're quite interested. So I'm going to put a bit, you notice that the angle that this is at, and um, that means we've got a deep section at this end and a shallow section at this end. That works really well because it means that if they don't want to get in there too deep, um, they've got options. Um, you can see straight away, even though there's nothing really in there, they're quite interested foraging around, moving the pebbles around. Um, the rest of them are all kind of escaped up here. <laughs> oh, the coast's still being good, aren't you, mister? Um, but yes, so that's the principle. The idea is they can get in there, get a little bit of wet, and then use evaporation to get it off. The fact they can stand in there means that they get their feet in there and the tail in there, which is the parts that we want to get wet most of all, because it's the best places for them to lose heat. And yes, you can see um, they're quite happy with this. <laughs> Mug is now quite damp on my hands. <laughs> Well, right, so that's over and out for me for now. Two little ideas on how to use water to keep your rats cool there. Um, hopefully it will help, particularly as I think tomorrow's forecast to potentially be the hottest day on U in the UK on record. Um, so enjoy yourself and hopefully keep your, yourself and your rats cool. So over and out.